Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for TreeStuff.com. We got Mike Tilford here. Mike works for Save a Tree, one of the biggest tree care companies in America. You're also a CTSP, right, Mike? That's correct. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us so much. We're on the Micro Rigging Lab, which is a small kind of model tree that we've been taking onto events with us. And you're going to show us vertical speed lining today? Yes, I am. Awesome. Well, you know, I can't wait to see it. I'm going to go run the register because there's a bunch of people here that want to buy stuff. And uh, we'll let you do your thing, okay? Thanks. Have at it, man. Thanks, Nick, and thanks, Tree Stuff, for putting this on. Uh, today, I want to talk about one particular method of rigging a spar. Uh, as an arborist, I believe that there is no greater exposure to hazard that we have than working off of a spar. If you look at all of the hazards compounded, uh, you've got large wood dropping from above you to below you. You've got uh, large saw very close to rigging systems and life support textiles. Oftentimes your tie-in is where your rigging point is. And if you were to put all those hazards on paper, you'd think we're out of our minds for doing this. Uh, so we're actually in the rigging system with, with our body positioning. So I wanna talk about one thing today that kind of simplifies it, uh, still gives you some control, yet it keeps you from having to be in a rigging dynamic system that's weighted at the time that you're uh, on the position. So first of all, of course, when you're on a spar, you need to have a choked system so that way you're descendable. Uh, if something goes wrong, you can still get down, uh, not just being on a lanyard and then having to think of some sort of a quick tie-in. So we've got our spar here, and uh, we've already brushed all of it out, and we've blown the top over, and instead of being able to just bomb logs down, which would obviously be safer than rigging, uh, we've got a house here and we're concerned about the logs bouncing into the house. So there's nothing under the tree directly. We've got a, a decent landing zone for the pieces, but we need to make sure nothing goes outside of our very tight landing zone. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to set up one line here. And I don't recommend using a brand new shiny line for this. I would use something that's got some age to it because of the speed at which everything's gonna move, it might tear the rope up a little bit. Um, it's, this is not necessarily very gear intensive, but the gear that you use is gonna get beat up a bit. Now for your cut, you can do a break cut or you can do a notch. Um, notch gives you a little bit better control for longer. Brake cut, uh, once it snaps off, you're gonna be really dumping it into this system. So we're gonna make a quick notch here. All right, so we've got our notch ready to go. We're in a stable position behind it. I'm gonna get a good choke on our uh, running bow in here. And with, uh, with this system, you want to make sure you get uh, your rigging sling very tight on this, uh, so that way it's not going to slip around on you. Um, you can use, I've used in a pinch, uh, a sling and a carabiner. Uh, not preferable because what's going to happen is you're going to end up slamming that carabiner around quite a bit. Uh, a rigging ring would be ideal for this situation, but the advantage you get from a carabiner is being able to just do that after your, uh, your cut. Um, so we'll make sure we're all nice and lined up. And next step on this is to make sure we've secured it off at the base. Um, it would be ideal to run it through another ring and uh, run it off to another tree uh, to make sure you get some tension on it, really get a good guideline. But really, you can do just about anything down here. Got it secured off at the base. A little bit loose, but just for demonstration purposes, it should work. Now, now we're ready for our back cut. Um, and if you've got a little bit of lean or something like that, you can go ahead and throw a tagline on top of this. It's not gonna interrupt the system at all. So now everybody stand clear. Now when we're ready, uh, all the ground crew is out of the way. We're gonna either give it a push, which with a four by four, that's not working.
or a pull on a tagline, what's gonna happen is this piece is just gonna slide right down here. Uh, there's no loading of the system, so as a climber, you're not in the rigging system at all. You've got the control of making sure we don't bounce into the house, and it's gonna land right next to the trunk. So, good safety factors, a little bit hard on equipment, but uh, overall, it gives you the kind of control and some safety factors that you need. So, there's your vertical speed line. Bye everybody, thanks for your stuff. <laughs>